what was it like Andy Warhol said, you're 15 minutes of fame. I didn't realize it would take advanced ovarian cancer, but look at me. <laughs> I'm having it. It was a surprise. You think cancer and you think something major, major pains, a lump, those kind of things. This was much more subtle. I said, but am I gonna die? Because I don't feel I'm dying. How did I have cancer and I didn't have symptoms? I mean, I think by sharing the stories of these women, people are gonna see what ovarian cancer is. Ovarian cancer is the second most common gynecologic cancer in the United States, but it is the most common cause of death among all gynecologic cancers. One in 78 women will be diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer is a silent killer. Please, everybody, do your annual checkups. And I think it would be nice for women to know some of the early subtle signs. Abdominal bloating, feeling that the abdomen has distended, feeling full too quickly, changes in bladder or bowel function. If it lasts, have it checked out. I feel fortunate that I had the little bit of bleeding because that got me into the doctor's office. It's funny, I always thought if I was diagnosed with advanced cancer or something like that, I would decide I'd have to put together a bucket list. My bucket list is very small right now. It's just to spend time with the people I love. I don't wanna say I feel at home when I go to UCLA, I, uh, but I do in some ways. It's just a very warm, comforting environment and I feel like people really care. These people were my family when I need them. Receptionists, nurses, doctors. They demonstrated me that I was not alone. I would tell a woman diagnosed with ovarian cancer not to be afraid. We are prepared to see her through this journey and we will be with her to make sure that she has the best outcome. Live the good life. There's, there's hope. Yeah, chemo's not fun. Yes, I've slept a lot more than I wanted to. And yes, I had a lot of side effects and stuff. I still got to see a grandchild be born. That's what life's supposed to be about. If you want to be scared, okay, be scared. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be sad. But you need to fight for your life. You can do that.